Miami Dolphins fans, Fanatic Fury Fanatics, what's good, man? I got to be honest with you. I was down on this team. I'm still not totally a believer that they can turn the corner and that this regime can get it done. Not until we get to 500 will I get back on the bandwagon. I'm just going to keep it 100, but I'm not just going to, you know, leave it up to the wind. I will tell you guys right now when Larry K gets back on the bandwagon will be when we get to 500. So you got to beat New England, you got to beat Green Bay, and then I will officially get back totally into this Dolphins thing this year. But look, another victory for Miami. Um, and, you know, another, another showing where the defense did its job once again. I've liked kind of how they've been calling things and how they've done things most of the year. I've said that. It's been no secret. The offense once again, uh, and Tua once again, and a lot of plays. Again, he had the fumble early. Just got to be more secure. But looking downfield, escaping some pressure, making things happen, finding the open guy, you know, making plays on his back a little bit, and it's making a big difference uh, for this team. The running game, once again, looking good. Uh, so it seems like this team maybe has found its groove in this current iteration, which is nice to see. I will continue to say Jonu Smith is the best signing uh, this offseason. The guy gets a touchdown now and shows his speed, shows his usefulness in the passing game as compared to a guy like, um, you know, Odell Beckham. He's just been an excellent, excellent signing. Zach Sealer, I think it's time to admit that he wasn't just benefiting from Christian Wilkins. Zach Sealer is a force himself, and he really is worth every penny, and he's a great Dolphin, so it's great to see him. Uh, he's the kind of guy you want to see play, uh, and you want to see be a Dolphin, and I can mention another guy, but I've talked about him too much this offseason who's not here anymore this season, uh, but that kind of guy, and Sealer's that lunch pail guy who really is, a, is an impact player. And then Ramsey coming away with the really easy interception at the end to seal the game, basically, was nice to see. Look, it's the Raiders, man. The Raiders are a bad team. They got Minshew playing quarterback. They don't look crisp. They're trading away their best players. They're not contenders in any way, shape, or form. They're really not a challenge in a lot of ways, to be honest with you. Every NFL team's a challenge week in and week out. You got to be honest with that. But it's not like they're some kind of seriously, you know, tough team you got to go up against. But a win is a win is a win. It was at home. So, again, I'm not jumping for joy. But you want to see a win like that. And most importantly, you want to see a guy like Tua play the way he's playing lately. You want to see the running game do what it does with Mike McDaniel calling a decent game, especially leaning on the run more. You want to see the offensive line continue to maul guys in the rushing attack. Now, there were... It was kind of on and off today with the rushing attack. I mean, there were times when the Raiders got penetration. There were times when guys were getting knocked back. And then there were times where holes opened up. So it was kind of a mixed bag. But, you know, and pass pro, you know, again, some some rush, but decent. I mean, this O-line, for all the grief I gave them earlier in the year, the way they were made up, I thought still wasn't greatly constructed. They're doing what they have to do right now to put themselves in contention, and that's nice to see. Again, it's the Raiders, and I'm not going to get back on this bandwagon until they're 500. When they're 6-6, six and six, you can call me then. But I am happy to see a victory. It's always nice on a Sunday, and it just gives us something to kind of hope for, right? It makes the game against the Packers way more interesting, and so who doesn't want interesting football? Who doesn't want those things? So it's nice to see, and then some of the signs are there that are looking good. Uh, again, Still some issues with this team. Again, it's the Raiders. So don't count me as some kind of Pollyanna who's just going to all of a sudden be jumping for joy and blowing sunshine up everybody's butt. It's not going to happen. Uh, but I'll take the win. And in two weeks, if we can win next week, uh, we really have a chance to start over, really. You know, bring the season back to 500 and take the final stretch to see how far we can get. Um, so... You know, go Finns in that regard, and, and props to the coach, props to the defense, props to Tua, props to the guys out on the field doing what they have to do to take care of business, props to the fans who showed up and showed out out there, and uh, let's move on to next week, and let's be about that business, because until you get to 500, you really can't stop and celebrate it all the way this conference is going. you got to set yourself up for some kind of chance at something, uh, but that was a step in the right direction. That's always nice to see. 
Special shout out to the Fury Fam members. If you are not a member of the channel, make sure you click join down there. Click join. It's easy to become a member. There's stuff we got behind the scenes for you, and it helps support the channel and keeps them going. So click subscribe uh, and and join. Join, click subscribe, join, become a member. Uh, I'll see you guys Tuesday Tuesday night on Larry Lucci G and Shake. You know, I'll be with the fellas and we'll have a panel open. So come join us Tuesday at seven. We're always there at seven. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday with the Dolphins win. I'm not sure if you're rooting for the Bills. It's hard to do because they're a rival, but you don't want Kansas City to have an undefeated season. So I'm pulling for the Bills to, to stop KC. And uh, the few guys left on 72 Dolphins, pop that champagne, man. But uh, hit subscribe, hit join, and join us Tuesday night. Go Fins, Larry K. out.